How's it going everyone? It's Arnold Lemon here, coming up with a brand new game type, a new map on Halo 4. So this map is called Llama Rush, and it comes with a game type, Llama Evasion. So it's a combination of Invasion and Extraction. So the way it works is you have 5 points to capture, and you have to have 3, um, three score to win. So the attacking team will have to capture 3 out of the 5 points, and the defending team will have to defend 3 out of the 5 points. So let's say the um, um, attacking team has 2 points and the defending team has um, 2 points as well. So both teams have 2 points and last point is basically if the team attacks it and doesn't get it in the end, like if the team manages to defend it, then the defending team wins. But if the attacking team manages to extract it, then of course um, they will win. So if you didn't see it from behind, um, those um, what they're called, the corrosive pieces were not here. So Basically what happens when you capture the first point is there's a teleporter inside the base now which will teleport you outside over here. So I did this because I want like the spawning to push forward as um, as you go into the game. So as soon as I capture B, basically what's going to happen is those shielders will disappear. And as you can see there's a fusion coil behind them so as soon as this gets extracted that fusion coil is going to um, explode and basically allow me to get in over there. So there's four of them, one over here, one over here, and there's two from the other side. So look, practice, it just disappears and you can go through to the next objective. And they're very close to one another, I know it's a very tiny map. Um, and that's because it's supposed to be like a mini game, like a 3v3 or something that you can play with um, less than, I don't know, six people. So you can play, play with 2v2 up to 6v6, 8v8 might be a little bit of an overkill. And you might be wondering, oh why the hell is it called Lama Rush, are you running out of names? No, there's a llama inside this map, and yes, it's a robot llama and has red eyes, and it's awesome. <laughs> and I just love llamas. So the fourth point they have to capture is the most difficult one to um, capture and the most easy to defend. So you have to capture the llama itself, and that is why it's called Llama Rush, because you basically rush for the, uh, rush for the llama. Llama, ah, I can't pronounce llama, I love llamas. <laughs> um, so as you capture this one, then it's basically like an invasion. If you capture the last point, you will have to like take it back in a in a way. So then, what happens is this point over here is like moved a little bit further behind. So it basically means like now you have the llama and you have to um, extract the whatever was in the llama. I don't know, maybe some treasure, and you have to extract it a little bit further behind. So it's it's very fun. I played it um, before with some people and. Like, I use sticky detonators to um, allow people to like have different variety of weapons, it just didn't work very well, so the gameplay was kind of rough. It was the first gameplay of it, so I have everything fixed by now. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the map, and if I just explain some of the rules um, very quickly in the next round. That's gonna take a while. 10 seconds, 9, 7, 8. Quick, quick, quick. So what you have now is assault rifle, VMR with magnum, need live with a plasma pistol and a um, spiral laser with no secondary. And there's an energy sword at each of the bases and like pretty much. So as the blue team spawns over here, the red team will spawn very close to A. They will spawn right over here. And as soon as they spawn around here, basically what will happen is um no I mean as the as soon as the first points get point get ca gets captured, ah can't pronounce anything. Then there will be like a little barrier over here to prevent the um, red team from spawning over here. So that means they'll have to be pushed further behind. And as I said before, there was a teleport that will push them and um, blues further up. And that is how basically uh, like the red team pushes further and the blue team gets pushed behind. So basically, as soon as you put something down in front of the um, um, spawns, basically people will not be allowed to spawn over there anymore. So if I capture this and just wait a little while. Um, for this to extract, you can see what I mean. So basically, the red team will spawn over here and on this line over here. And as soon as this gets extracted, then the um, red team will like get pushed behind. And over here, you see the um, there's no entrance over here. I mean, there's an entrance, and as soon as this gets extracted, the entrance disappears, so you can't go back to the base anymore. And the bone gooses like get pushed further behind as well, further up as well. And over here you see the railing over here that basically the reds will not be allowed to spawn over here anymore. And that's pretty much how it works. And it's pretty much the same for the other side if I just very quickly go around. Like if you hear that there was another teleporter between those two railings. So now this railing has spawned and prevented people from using the other one. So if you use this one it will spawn you like right over here. 
And if you were, if you were to use the other one, it will spawn you right here. So basically, to capture A, you have to use this teleport over here. If you spawn all the way from behind as the red. So that's pretty much all there is to the map. I'm gonna get some gameplay out of it very soon, and I just don't know how it worked out. I'm looking forward to it because it's like the first. And I I tried very hard on this game. I think it's the most complicated game that I ever created, and I had to get used to extraction and all. So yeah, I hope I hope um, everything works out. So like and share if you like. Subscribe for more and. I'll see you guys next time. See you.